We do hope that the potential in our region in Asia Pacific, especially for Southeast Asia, we consist of 600 million populations as the market. I think there is a big opportunity to enhance the cooperation between Chile and ASEAN countries in general, but also Indonesia. This kind of proposed idea of TA is still uh, going on the process. We do hope that ASEAN will consider this FTA arrangement for better economic and trade relations of Chile and our region. We could see from our assessment that Chile is an, an open economy and Indonesia also the same open economy. And we have the common interest for developing our economic and trade relations. So far, we would like to have more people-to-people -people contact because more people will have knowledge about region Indonesia and they will have the interest and they will try to see the opportunity in, our, in both our, of our countries. So we could see in the future, it's not about the people-to-people -people contact, but also for bigger interest, economic and trade relations, as well as for socio-cultural interests. We like to develop also awareness of Chile and Latin Americans in Indonesia, especially with some particular universities that would like to study about Spanish language or even Latin American countries. This kind of engagement will uh, open the horizons of knowledge and information about Chile and Latin American countries. And we could see the future, uh, Chile will be one of the hub for Indonesia's uh, interest in Latin America. So we do hope that our engagement not only in FTA, but also in other fields of cooperation will boost the relations of uh, two countries in the future. Education cooperation, especially with engagement uh, among universities, will be one important thing to develop understanding of both cultures and uh, communities of the academia. And we could support the idea of giving uh, scholarships, this uh, cultural uh, engagement between two countries. But we'd like to have more uh, opportunities for Indonesian students could pursue their studies in Chile or the Chile could see the opportunity in Indonesia. This is one way. Uh, we could uh, enhance by giving awareness also with some uh, member of the Congress, not only in Chile but also in Indonesia. Because we are doing the executive level, everything in the government would like to improve the economy for the better prosperity of the people and better economy of the country. But every international engagement or agreement will be going to the Senate or the Congress. So all of the country will need the support of the legislative members to have this kind of international engagement, including this kind of international trade agreements. So their understanding about potential and the objective of this kind of agreement for better economy, we will need this a lot from the senators or the members of the Congress. So the understanding of them about the vision, uh, it will be very important. We do believe, as the proverb says, uh, every historical journey of the relations always needs a first step. So this will be the first step for everyone to build a better future for both of the, the countries and nations. We do believe that it's not at the executive level, but also for legislative level, to have a close cooperation. And we support the proposed visit of our members of parliament for interparliamentary group of Indonesia and Chile for the coming days or coming weeks, so they can build more strong relations, uh, parliament to parliament uh, network. So we do believe this also in line uh, in enhancing our uh, relations for the future. Of course, uh, we have the opportunity sh to share about the experience in technology of transfer, especially in Indonesia, we, we have this kind of uh, aircraft industry. Even in the air show in Chile, we like to 
have this kind of opportunity to show the potential in Indonesia for the future in aircraft industry. We could share about this, but also as the fast growing economy in the subcontinent of Latin America, Chile could also share the, their uh, capacity in assisting our economic development. So there will be win-win situation for both to have the common interest, common objective for the industrial development or economic and trade relations. So the most important thing to explore more what will be the possibility for both nations to develop together. So I think there is a lot of potential. Even now, uh, Chile also part of the Trans-Pacific Partnership. So we do believe as well that there is the shift from the Atlantic to the Asia Pacific. And you have grabbed the, the opportunity for this and the capacity to involve in this uh, great economic uh, arrangement in, in the world. And we have also the intention to be involved in this matter. Of course, uh, there will be some analysis going on at the moment in Indonesia. We could see there is the intention for uh, the, some of the countries in Latin America, such as Chile, Peru, Mexico, Colombia, to have a faster economic development in, in, in the region. And we de, uh, could see that our interest to be involved with the uh, uh, Pacific Alliance as an observer. So we do encourage a concrete engagement later on, not only region to region or organizations such as uh, Pacific Alliance and ASEAN, but uh, also how to translate this political engagement or regional engagement to more a concrete uh, way to our people. This is a, a diplomacy for the people, for benefit of the people. I think we do believe that in the future, Pacific Alliance can contribute for economic prosperity for both of the regions with some concrete project that, that should be going on later on. Mm -hmm.